It's Sunday afternoon in Dachmash, and Farida Shaban is hard at work. The mother of eight is preparing posters for this evening's demonstration. She's writing the words, Biti fi hratar, my house is in danger. The Shaban family received a demolition order for their home shortly after it was built seven years ago. Since that time, Farida explains that they have lived in fear, never knowing when their house might no longer be standing. Farida and other Dahmash residents were joined by over 100 activists for a demonstration against house demolition Sunday. The mainly Israeli activists came in solidarity from Sheikh Jarrah, the East Jerusalem neighborhood that is dealing with similar forced evictions and discrimination against Palestinian residents. أكيد هو شاعر معك يكون أكثر يعني صح إنه بيجوا ناس بالضامر وبيجوا ناس بوقت معانا إيش أما اللي ما وضع زي وضع كان يكون أكثر إيش حساس فيه أنا كثير يعني وصلت أنا من إيش كثير يعني بيخلي الواحد شوي يحس إنه يعني في حدا حساس فيه حدا بوقت معاه Dachmash is located between Lud and Ramla, only 20 minutes from Tel Aviv. Houses have existed in the village since before 1948 and are built on private Palestinian land. Today, the village counts 600 residents, living in 70 households. Dachmash is one of hundreds of so-called unrecognized villages throughout Israel. Because of its unrecognized status, Dachmash residents suffer from a serious lack of basic services, including garbage pickup, green space, transportation, and address registration. Uh, buses we don't have uh, in, inside. Uh, school here we don't have. Address we don't have. We don't have. Our address is or, or Ramle or Lod or box in the post. But uh, they don't want in the, our uh, passport, we don't have an address in Dahmash. They say Dahmash does not exist. They told me, for us, you don't exist. It's Israel, 2010. Democratic? No. How I feel? I feel bad. Arafat says that raising awareness about the basic issues he and his neighbors are facing is crucial. But for him, the major concern is how the situation is impacting his children. It's my land, my family land. I want to live like a person. Why can't I build my house in my land? Why they can't, I don't. When they demolish their houses, don't give them any license to, to live. They don't want from there to live. They don't have any address. They don't have anything. How, how our children will feel? Uh, I, in the future, it will be a big problem for my, my children. And their children also. It's, one day it will boom in our faces. That, that, this is a problem. Thirteen houses in Dahmash have received demolition orders since April of this year. But all the homes in Dahmash can eventually be on the chopping block. Farida Shaban and her family have gone back and forth to the local courts to postpone the demolition of their home. She says the process has put a strain not just on her family, but on everyone in the community. 
كمان يعني لما انا حتى لو مش عندي اصلا هم بيقولوا انه كل تقريبا كل الحي عندهم امر هذا يعني لو ما اللي كمان ما عندوش يا عند اخوه يا عند اخته يا عند جاره يعني نفس الشيء يكونوا بيحسوا نفس الشيء يعني بين السماء والارض مش عارف حاجه يعني في شيء يعني شو الواحد زي بالهواء هيك يعني في شيء بقدر الشيء لا بقدر يسوي شيء ولا بقدر يخطط لا شيء ولا بقدر يعني Farida says she hopes the demonstration will raise awareness of the difficult living conditions the Hamas residents and other Palestinians throughout Israel face every day. Palestinian hip hop group Dam performed after the demonstration Sunday evening in the courtyard of Farida's home. According to Arafat Ismail, solidarity events like Sundays will hopefully help the Hamas residents achieve their goal of one day being able to live with dignity and in peace. Uh, I want to live, I want to pay taxes, I want to... What they say they want, I, w- I will pay. They, no, they don't want to, to take from us taxes. We want to pay taxes, they don't want. They, they want to, to crush us, that we go from here, out. It's my, our land, our family land, we will stay here. If they all demolish all the houses, we will stay here.